Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the bottle ship. A mission that will most likely be carried out in the next day or two. I'm heading toward the bottle ship now. I'm going to rescue something that was left there. Something that can't be replaced. Yeah, I'm a great big fucking liar, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the true finale of Let's Play Metroid Other M. <laughs> Good grief, this game is too long for its own good. Anyway, we've returned to the bottle ship to, as Sam has stated, pick up something that cannot be replaced. What, pray tell, is that? I'm not going to say until we get there. But before that, I'm going to try and get some of these items that I thought I could have just jumped over there for, but obviously I can't. I figured out how to get there since then, and uh, it involves... Well, I'll point out the room when I get there, but as of right now, past me has no idea. So, he's looking for a place where he could possibly get to that balcony from somewhere around here. <laughs> anyway. We're back on the bottle ship doing stuff. We have a destination to reach at the very least so we know what where we're supposed to go. How we're supposed to get there is not yet to be determined. And no past me this trying to shoot this door down has nothing to do with getting to that ledge yet. Albeit now that I have power bombs, I think I can do anything, and that still doesn't work. I'm just fixated on this fucking door for right now, so you'll excuse me for thinking there might be something more to this than there actually is. Past me is looking for a vent or something in order to bypass this thing and he's getting angry at the doors. So just quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it. You can't get in through here. I'll point out the room where you can, even though you're not going to figure it out until... Well, not on screen, anyway. There is something in this room, though. I remember saying so at the beginning of the game. It involves going down this hole. One of these holes. Just blast it open. Roll on through. And it's another control. Fan friggin' fantastic. First of all, when I get the 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 frog. When I get that missile, those things show up and whatever. Anyway, proceeding onwards. I'm up here now. Kill everything instantaneously with screw attack technology, which is awesome and nothing else. Ugh. Something to speed boost my way through this hallway. In fact, I'm so fixated on doing that that I'm willing to go backwards and <laughs> start all over again. I don't know why the speed, why I'm so fixated on using the speed booster in this game. I just in this particular case, I guess it's just I, I don't know why I like it in this game and not in Sonic games. Well, apart from in Sonic games, that speed is the whole point, and pressing a button to acquire that just doesn't sit well with me. There's another item in this room that I end up getting fixated on in the wrong way again. But I do figure it out fairly... within a due amount of time. I seem to think that it's somewhere up inside this uh, busted elevator. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry. In this busted elevator shaft. Or below it or something. So I end up using power bombs to absolutely no effect. takes a while to occur to me the fact that I could shine spark my way up through the shaft. Instead, I think wall jumping is the only way. But 
There's not enough wall to cling to up there, even with a space jump. There is something up in that shaft, but if you... You can't get to it any other way but with a shine spark! Will you give up on this futile attempt and try something, you know, intelligent? Good grief. All these abilities that I've learned over the course of the game, all these little tricks, and I haven't thought, hey, let's use the speed booster to shine spark up there? God, I'm done. This place right here, you shoot the vent on the... Br okay, there's a vent over there on the left that you can shoot in order to get through a little tunnel section to get to that thing. I know that now, but past me did not know it at the time. He will figure it out eventually, but not on screen. <laughs> Fucking loading doors! Anyway, let's just keep on going for now. Things that can shove us. Ah, stop a shine spark. Oh, now that we're back in this room and I have wave beam technology at my side, I can finally hit that button. I can finally hit that button and get the little power up that's inside there. Yeah. That wasn't so hard, was it? Then again, all it got me was an Excel charge, and quite frankly, I'm I'm not too big on what those things really. You know, all together they can really, you know, cause a difference. But little by little, it's hard to really tell the difference with charging stuff. But now we're almost to the place we need to go, but unfortunately the elevator is cut off. However, there's this new area here that we can get to thanks to power bombing. And it's one of these giant bug fuckers again. Ugh. Thankfully I'm not stuck in first person mode, so I can out. So I can actually deal with them effectively. That said, these things are still a fucking bitch to deal with, depending on how you deal with them. You really want to fucking abuse the sense to as much as fucking possible. Another thing you want to do is be careful of exactly... Ow! Ow! Jesus! This thing hurts! When this thing gets low enough on health that you have to hit it with a... with one of these attacks. That really is the only way to kill them. If you try and hit him again after that, well, you'll see later on. Anyway, we're now at the Bottle Ship Residential area. Good thing to know that this place does have a residential block. Although, well, it just looks like a giant round room or octagonal. What is it? It's octagonal or? I'm not even going to get the hit about it. Yeah, I think it's an octagon. Either way, a round-ish room with a bunch of doors stacked up on top of each other. So it, I'm guessing the residents are fairly bare bones. But there's also a big blue blip in the middle of the room. And the only way to get to it is via Shine Spark, and that's not what I meant to do. Shine Spark directly up, not into it. <laughs> up! And use a screw attack to get over here and grab, grab the ledge, and there we go. One energy part. <sighs> Moving on, there's a save room here. And uh, I think I'm going to take a quick pause break here, but uh, it's only going to be very brief with editing. Moving on past the residential block, we can get to an elevator. 
far be it from me... No, I am going to question the convoluted system of taking elevators all over this fucking facility. Why can there never be just the one elevator that goes to every floor? Instead we have, like, one elevator that goes to Sector 1, one that goes to Sector 2, another that goes to Sector 3, and then we have another one that goes... Oh god, one of these things. But once you're in, like, Sector 1, you can get to uh, the laboratory, and then have it crossing past that one, you can get to a secret special area or something like that. I, I don't know. It's just kind of... Oh, yeah. Yeah. That. You don't take out those things the way I showed you before as quickly as possible once you see them. Once they get down to that point. They will curl up into their shell form and regenerate health. I'm drawing out this fucking battle longer than it needs to. And ow! Fucking ouch! That fucking hurts! Me too! That's pain! Go away! That, yep, now! In the mouth! Good, good. And now we are back at the connecting area between. Sector Zero and Sector A. Mm. Oh well. I guess that makes... It's still convoluted, but I'm glad there's at least one elevator that leads straight... Well, somewhat close to Sector Zero. But uh, from this point, I think we've seen... Until we get back to the main area, there's really nothing new to see, so... Chaos! Control! item in this room that I hadn't acquired before when I really should have, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go after it now. Why? I don't know. I guess I figured that I really do want all the items in the game at this point, and I don't want to have to backtrack back to a place that I've already been if it's there. But yeah, um, I do end up going after all the items in the game. But anyway... Let's continue. Okay, back onto the elevator of the main sector. Let's look at my percentages here. Kind of abysmal. Oh well. <sighs> but yeah, I, I will be going back across all of the areas that I haven't gotten all the items yet and collecting them off screen. So, I don't know why I bothered to show you where that one thing was, apart from it's a place that I had been before where I had all the abilities necessary to acquire it that I didn't. But, whatever. Anyway, there's only really one way to go through here. You could go through that door at the end of the hall where you... But the place that you're really supposed to go is to drop a little power bomb here, fight one of these fuckers. Crap. Really, just abuse the sense move and charge me and these fuckers to death. It's the only way to really deal with them. Also, ending it with one of those shots in the mouth. That's another good thing to do. 
but otherwise just follow this path straight to where it leads to an Convoluted elevator system is convoluted. I don't give a damn what anyone else says. It's a convoluted elevator system that just doesn't need to be. Good grief! You think the researchers like all of this going around different elevators to get to the different sectors? No! I know I wouldn't! But anyway, now we are in a new area, somewhere ne near the control room of the whole facility. And it seems we now have a bunch of enemies just spawning in on us randomly. Well, if you don't take game logic at face value. But why are there so many of these things still left over? Why are they all showing up just in this one hall? Ow! Oh great, the invisible fuckers. Oh! Apparently they know instant transmission as well, but fuck, one screw attack shot, one hit with screw attack, that really... <laughs> More of these things! I guess you could call this, like, sort of an arbitrary boss rush, only it's not. It's just a bunch of enemies being thrown at you. Kinda, they can be a little bit tough. These ones in particular do not die instantly from a screw attack or something. I wish they did. Who's that thing? Got Die! There. Nope, we're still not done. And Jesus Christ, this is actually quite a long hallway. Once again, I don't know how how much physical fitness goes into the research how much the researchers have to be into physical fitness type of crap but honestly such long hallways and convoluted ways of getting around the facility it just doesn't seem that efficient to me you know I can understand some of you know the biological uh, research stuff you know, because it... I don't know. You want to make the organisms, you know, feel kind of at home. Therefore it has to be a little bit odd. I guess. I don't know. But this is just one long hallway that leads from an elevator to the control room. I, I, I don't, I just let him get it. it, it seems a little bit odd to me what type of design choice went into making this station, you know, aside from game logic. Oh, these mantis men? I don't know. <sighs> The further we go, the more they just keep coming- Oh god, one of these things! I thought those shell creatures were bad. I still hate these things! These things are still as annoying as they get. Hitting them with a screw attack is extraordinarily difficult, and it doesn't insta-kill them. So... And I still can't jump on its head and fire anything into it. It just keeps bucking me off. Well, fine, I'll just kill your death! Ugh, I'm crying out loud. Why did it have to be one of these things again? I hate them! Nothing but enemy after enemy after enemy after 
I mean, I kind of might have preferred a boss rush at this point, but uh, for some reason, during the course of my retracking over this place, it seems that things like Nightmare and Ridley have suddenly disappeared from the facility altogether. Ow! I could say I could say I wonder why that is in large sarcasm quotes because I know what happens to it. It's called fusion. <sighs> but we are now at the point where once I get into the next room, it's kind of a point of no return. So I'm going to pause. I'm gonna take a break here and actually go looking for all the stuff that I did get before, so... A fuck ton of searching later, I am now at 92% in the main sector, 100% in every other sector there is. The only reason I'm at 92 in the main sector is because of this one item in this one room right here, which I won't get to until after this next little thing I have to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, I now introduce you to the true final boss of Metroid Other M, assuming you didn't know about it already. Enter... Fantoon. Yeah, from Super Metroid, Fantoon is here, and my god, is he huge! And... That eye. That eye. It looks like the eye of fucking Sauron. Like, like, wow. I wonder if they did that on purpose. But, uh, anyway, yeah. True final boss of the game, it's a giant... You can ghostly space thing that spams ghostly eyeballs at you. Phantom eyeball at you. And apparently, for some reason, you don't get to see this thing's health bar right after that. You have to look at it in first person or do that. I'm not quite sure why that was. Maybe they had intended to use the scan visor in this game at some point. That was one of the things he would have been able to do with it. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Do I mean, did I end up having to look at a boss versus first person before in order to see their health bar? I, I really don't pay attention to that type of thing because after a while it just became so routine to fire missiles at them first person. Whereas this one is mostly just use dodge roll constantly and abuse the dodge roll supercharge. Insta charge. A lot of people kind of think that this... I'm not sure. Maybe it's just me, but I think some people have a lot of trouble dealing with fan tune without having, like, a whole bunch of E-Tank. I didn't have that many the first time I took them on, and it didn't take me more than one try to finish them off, so... I don't know. But either way, I now do have all the tanks, all power-ups, all extra missile stuff. Not that I'm never going to use that many missiles. By the time I get the last missile power-up, I'll never use missiles again! get a total of 80 missiles in this game, and you'll never use them all! Primarily because using a missile in this game is just stupid! As I mentioned in the credits of the last one, the control scheme is just a little bit too ass, especially in the combat department. The only thing you can really do is use your beam button. Perfect. The only thing you can really use effectively is your beam weapon, and it's just it's annoying because your missiles usually can do more damage or different types of damage or something, I don't know. But anyway, let's get done with this fucker. 
jump into this thing's fucking eye, charge up a power shot, and BOOM! Farewell, Fantoon. I'm sure, you know, being a space phantom and all that, we'll probably see you again, but goodbye for now. Granted, I'm not saying that as a surefire way he didn't show up in Fusion, I don't think. But anyway, we're finally getting down to the final bit of this game, as it were. That was the final boss. But now it's time to pick up that so-called irreplaceable thing that Sanus was after. Spoiler alert, I don't really think it's that worthwhile, in my opinion. Ugh, fucking elevators. I have power bombs! But anyway, time to get the final missile popper up in the game. I should have gotten this earlier today, but... There it is! I now have 100% completion on all sectors. Holy bloody Luya! <sighs> For what it's worth, the items that I didn't show myself going after aren't too difficult to figure out how to get to once you know how to use all of your abilities. Though some of them can be a bit cryptic, I'll say that much. Anyway. Are you serious? You came back for his fucking helmet? All this for a helmet? Madeline, thanks for telling me all this. I've got to destroy the Metroids and MB in Sector Zero. You have to remain hidden. No! Samus! Don't worry. The Galactic Federation CEO, who's here now, will help you. <laughs> oh man, I, I really love that. I really do. Uh, interrupt Samus's personal moment. You know, cut off the music just to say, Danger, we're about, the facility is about to explode. <laughs> I, I, I just think that's hilarious. But anyway, uh, I guess that means it's time to fucking run. Five minutes to count down to the destruction of the facility, and for some reason Samus can't be bothered to turn her power suit back on. I mean, yeah, I know she's holding something, but she could... She has more than enough time to turn... To put the thing down, turn her suit back on, pick it back up, and start running again. Well, I guess... You know... More tension for the win, I guess? But anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. We don't want to be here when this thing goes explodey. Granted, I think Samus should have seen this coming. Actually, she did see this coming, but uh, I think she should have seen more clearly that it was going to happen while she was there. Because it always happens while she's there. The place will self-destruct while just as you're trying to leave it. And it's interesting how much more athleticism you can get out of her now that she doesn't have a suit on. Not that you have much time to enjoy it. 
She can now do a Mega Man style slide. And she doesn't have her power gun thingy, but she has that little security pistol, which fires electric shocks. Which is good for getting these doors up and out of the way if they close on her. In case you don't slide under them in time. But anyway, gotta keep running, gotta keep running, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I wish I had the speed booster, but no, she wouldn't turn her suit back on. Ugh. Tension and all that crap. Ow. Fire hurts. It also doesn't help that I have no E-Tanks to back me up in case I take too much damage here. Not that we really should. I don't know why it stopped there. I, I guess I thought it was going to go into automatic after a certain point. But anyway, we're finally back to the ship. Just in time. Sorry for keeping you waiting, Adam. Let's go home. It's just a helmet. He can't hear you. Ladies and gentlemen, is the true final 100% ending of Metroid Other M. Perfect. Congratulations. Yes, that's all you get for doing 100%. Well, that and unlocking hard code, but I can't be bothered. Anyway, that is the end of Metroid Other M. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and good fucking night until the next fucking LP. Ugh!